Hey, it's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk, and I have a new frustration with the infotainment system. It actually isn't working quite right. In this video, I'm gonna tell you what's going on with that and tell you my frustration with that. And I'll tell you where we're at currently in the process and I'm hoping it gets resolved today, maybe. Um, Toyota's reached out to me. They've been working on this for a while. So let me, let me back up a little bit. Uh, if you watched the video before, a couple videos ago, I, I did a road trip with this Toyota Tundra, this 2022 Limited I bought for the channel. And during that road trip, the system started going really funky. Some things really started happening. It was kind of strange. Now, I happened at that time to be driving through Chicago. We went to Michigan. I picked up Jill, and Jill and I were driving down to Indianapolis. So the scenario is this, is that uh, Jill's in a truck she's driving. She has a phone call conference she has to do. So I said, hey, why don't you connect your phone to the entertainment system, and we can try the two different Bluetooth phones on one system, which is a feature of this new system that Toyota says, and Lexus is a total Lexus system. They rolled out first on a Lexus product. Now it's on a Toyota product. So you can go out through the lineup that said you can have two different phones connected at once, and so you're going to receive phone calls on different phones. And you can do, well, that operation we talked about. So she syncs her phone. It's fine. Everything's, everything's going good. As we're driving about an hour later, the system pops up and says, enter your pin, enter your pin, enter your pin. And I'm like, well, that's kind of strange. I kind of ignored it. Then I was like, well, I'll enter the pin in. And then it went, accept my pin. And then it said, go to your app. And we sent you a code. It didn't work on that. And they said, we, then it says, you're timed out. You've exceeded the maximum number of pin inputs. And now we have a screen that pops up that shows email. It says, put email in. So I did that, put a password in. It doesn't take that at all. And it completely just keeps going that screen. So I'm going to show it on the screen here in a minute. But when we got to Indianapolis, our destination at dinner that night, we actually called um, Toyota and I talked to uh, the uh, communications guy for the entertainment system. And he was like, well, he reached out to customer service. And so we're on the phone with customer service. And the person we're talking to there literally said to us, he's never seen this problem, which is not unheard of of a new system. And so I was like, well, you know, you guys can fix it. It's not a big deal. Just I won't even talk about it. Well, it's been about two weeks later, and it's still having a problem. And as my social contract with you, the viewer, is I tell you the good, bad, and the ugly. And this has been a frustration of mine. And well, and I've actually had to, uh, unfortunately, not shoot a couple of videos because I want to get this fixed. And so I've got noticed today that they're getting closer. They've escalated this problem to the higher people. They have the chief engineers involved and stuff like that. And they're trying to figure it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the truck up. And I'm going to start this GoPro up over here. And hopefully if things are still working not correctly, which they should, um, you will see what's going on. So uh, so this starts, and then the radio turns on. I will turn off the HVAC system. And so it loads up my name, right? So I'm going to get a little closer. You're going to see a little flashing on the screen. That's just the refresh rate of the camera on the screen. So I have my phone plugged in, and it says, do you want to communicate? But this message right here, do you want to communicate with the Toyota Tundra, is not right. It doesn't. It doesn't actually work. And so everything looks fine, right? So um, you yeah, can go to settings. Oh, I can't even get there. So here's the screen that pops up. Email address, put in your stuff or use mobile app for recovery. Mobile app doesn't work for recovery. And this screen pops up all the time, which Toyota uh, engineering kind of told me on the phone or not engineering, but Toyota's customer service told me is that they don't know why that screen's popping up. They don't know why the email address screen's popping up. So um, here's the the terrible scenario of this is I was in Neapolis. I had this happen a few times, just driving around town, no big deal. But then I drove to Dyersburg to get the level kit done in rough country. If you've seen that video. And then I drove all the way home, two days driving home, a thousand miles. And so I can't access navigation. I can't access the radio and things um, until I wait for this email address thing. It, it eventually times out and then a new screen pops up and then I can close that screen I can go in and I can change the radio station or look at the navigation and I get like a minute and a half, maybe two minutes. And then it goes back to email address screen. So what it is, is an infinite loop of the screen popping up. So basically on the way home, I got to choose like one radio station and I really couldn't do much else with it because I didn't want to keep having the screen pop up and keep doing stuff. And so um, maybe I can just, I can probably show you on the screen. I can just close that and then so then it goes away. So now I can I can use I can use the system a little bit. I can look at navigation, look at phone, I can look at things. And then I can go to settings. And then one of the interesting things is I can sign out to guest mode, but it doesn't fix it. 
um, I can go into my uh, devices and I de we deleted Joe's phone to see if that was a problem I we're talking about uh, there's something else I can do in here but I can leave it alone for a little bit it's a oh, Bluetooth and devices then I click on my phone I can I can use her phone and then it'll do its thing and it'll pop back and forth and then it goes gray again so I can do it for a second and then it pops back up and then <laughs> So uh, what we what we tried to do is is people are gonna troubleshoot in the comments. But look, I had customer service on the phone with me. We deleted Joe's phone. We turned off the use for phone, use for media. We tried to just use CarPlay. We took off CarPlay. I got in and out of the truck and I let the truck sit overnight at a hotel as you know sleeping and that kind of stuff. Came back in and the same problem happened. And so I have done all the things that they asked me to do, and I've gone through the systems. I've, I've signed up to guest mode and guest mode still pops up email address. And again, Toyota doesn't understand why the screen pops up or they don't, I, I'm gonna say this differently. They probably understand where the screen's coming from. It's their system. They they totally get it. I'm not gonna argue with you know that, that's stupid, that they don't know where the screen's coming from, but um, they haven't found a solution yet to fix it. So All right, we think we fixed it. So if this happened to you, this is steps I went through with Toyota to fix this problem. And they just called me, we just did a whole thing with this. And so I believe we're ready to go. So a couple things. First, you always gotta have, make sure you have a key, you know, the key that's linked to the profile. And then what, what we did, grab my other phone here, grab my phone, is that we went into the app. We went into the Toyota app and I logged out. I created, I signed back in, but I changed my password. I then went into the app in the account settings, into my security settings, and I changed my pin to a different pin. And then I had all that done, and I I closed the app. And you, ha you get like a six digit pin to your email. So like my email, like I've said in other videos, doesn't load so fast on my phone, even though it's a Gmail app. My, my email is a separate service, and it just doesn't load that fast. So I'm glad I was inside when I did this because a little quickly, but anyways. You get that all new set up, hop in the truck, the screen pops up, and I'll do the little camera over here so you can see that screen too. Um, the pin screen pops up that you've seen in other videos and things, and then you can go into it. You'll sign in through the pin. It loads up just fine. For me, it loaded up just fine, and I haven't had that screen pop up since. And so... Uh, you know, it's been, I gotta, oh, it's hot out here today. Um, I have to, uh, put the window down, but yeah, so apparently if you have some problems with the system and you have some funkiness going on, uh, sign out of your app, reset your pin, reset your email, all kind of stuff, or your password, and then come back out and sign back in your app and that should load things okay. Now, why did it do it? Eh, I really don't know. They really, uh, you know, it's a it's a one-off thing. They hadn't seen it before. This is a new system. There's new stuff happening in the system all the time, new changes, and things they're maybe just not prepared for. So what probably what happened was, I thought I entered my pin correctly, but maybe I entered my other pin. I have, they have a couple of pins I've used for different uh, ATM cards like that. So I may have screwed it up, or the system got screwed up when we had both Jill and my phone in here. And so yeah, it's all set. So fantastic. I don't have to take it in, have a new, infotainment system hooked up new head unit nothing like bs with the dealership and so it's all done and taken care of so i still got to do the ship <laughs> i need an oil change that's next step that'll be the next video when i do the oil change i'll probably sit in the blackstone and do some analysis because it's always fun what the heck see what's going on with that but i just want to walk you through what happened there so hey for more videos check the video over here website down below as always thanks for watching i'll see you down the road